Hello out there and welcome to Riverbug presentation. On this video I'm going to make a sample fly in uh, Riverbug 2.0 to fly method. And the model of the fly is going to be a very simple fox fly. So stay with me for a couple of minutes and I show how it's done. First we are going to select some colors and stuff for the fly. Okay, let's get things started here. So first we are going to select models and colors for the river buck. And uh, first the model, river buck 2.0 over there. Then we take the color, pink, and then we take the fly model, and it's fox fly. And that's our goal this time. In the beginning, you burn the end of the pipe, just like here. Oh, I forgot to pick that body tubing color, and we are going with the black one. Set that body tubing on the nail or whatever you are using and then scratch the surface of the pipe a little bit to make that glue stick on it better. Like here. Then you just add body yarn or whatever material you are using to create the kind of effect on the body that you like. Now leave here from 2 to 3 millimeters free space on the tip of the pipe, put some glue on it and stick that river buck 2.0 version sleeve on its place. You have to turn it a little bit to lock down that body yarn. Then you have to cut leftovers. And now you are ready to make wings for this tube fly. When you start tying, do it just like in the video and set that tying yarn on the front of this uh, river box sleeve. So that there will be a clearly gap between front and the back side of the river buck sleeve. And then you put some bucktail fur. It doesn't ma matter if this is a little bit harder. Strings you have over there makes no difference. It might be even better so that the uh, fur is rising nicely up from the sleeve. And make that length go just like in the picture, just a little bit over the length of the body of the tube fly. Then we are going to take some white bucktail and put this one on the top of the pink. This is not necessary, but I'll just try to make a little bit more colorful fly this time. Add it just like previous ones and uh, try to spread those furs evenly on both sides. And now we are ready to make the main wing of this tube fly. And we start with the bucktail layer. Cut some nice bucktail, take the waste parts away and set it to the upper side of the tube. And make it go a little bit longer than the body pipe. Okay, and now I have to select the uh, fox materials we are going to use here. It's done over there. 
and then we can start making that main and final wing. First we take the yellow fox and place it on the top of that bucktail. Try to make it even in length by the bucktails we have just set out there. And then we take some blue kingfisher color and this layer is going to be a little bit longer than that uh, yellow one. And always take the short first away from the material before adding it on the river box sleeve. So you can put more longer <coughs> materials on the sleeve. And now you can see that it's a little bit longer than the yellow one. And after adding this new material layer, always check that it's going evenly on both sides. And then we are ready to go with the final color of this main wing. And we are using extra long marble fox from our own garden. And uh, again you have to take those short ones away. And then you take it to the top of these previous layers, set it even on the both sides, and there is not so much to do anymore. When it's all settled up, just tighten the wing. Now there seems to be quite a lot of materials here, so a little bit more adjusting with the wing part. After you are happy with the shape of this main wing, you are ready to tighten it up. And when you are using river box sleeve in tying, you can do it quite carelessly because river box sleeve is doing all the work and holding things on its place. After tightening, cut those leftovers close as possible to the tying yarns. Just like here. After cutting, you can already see that the head part is shaping pretty nicely. And then you just add a couple of knots to make it stay together. And we are about to be done in the actual tying part. Like that. Okay. Now it's about ready. And then we are ready to finalize the head of the fly. You can do it by your own method or you can use this ultraviolet glue as I'm doing over here. It's a very modern and rapid way to make beautiful heads for the fly. And now you just have to think where you want to fish with these flies. Are you going with normal salmon, chinooks and uh, 
I'm going to take Chinox from there. Is it working? No, no, no. Okay, we are going here. Just take some Chinox with the flies. And uh, <laughs> thank you for your time and see you next time. Bye bye.